Hey, welcome to the Danger Zone. It's Ashley. Everything in this video was found on a public domain in the full disclaimers down below. Lots of love and many blessings your way. A big thank you to Johnny. I appreciate you so much. Everybody knows me as the crazy dog lady and I'm good with it. And I don't care if it's a dog or a turtle. If somebody hurts an animal in my presence, just know I'll probably be in the tomorrow's paper and I hope I have my eyebrows on. I don't like taking bad mug shots, but that is definitely the distance I'll go to protect anything innocent. I can't stand losers that want to sport hunt, exotic animals, animals of any kind. So speaking of losers, let's get on with it. So Harry's very first round of legal complaints was a huge fail for him today. Harry's very first complaint was to the Mail on Sunday for misrepresenting what he had done. So on their Sussex Royal Instagram account, they had posted this montage of animals that were being doctored and rescued by Harry to mark Earth Day, of course. The Mail on Sunday followed that Instagram post up with the truth. All they tried to do was say, hey, look, there is so much more going on in this picture that nobody is seeing. In other words, Harry got busted. And what did Harry do? He goes and files a complaint to the LPSO saying that the Mail on Sunday ran an inaccurate article regarding his Instagram post. The Mail on Sunday did nothing wrong. They posted the real picture, the full picture of Harry showing himself, pulling on the tusk, trying to lead the way for this elephant. His picture looked like this. He left out the fact that the elephant's legs were tied together. How was it supposed to move? Not to mention it had been tranquilized. Hello. He's as guilty as she is for staging a real good picture. The LPSO came back and said, Sorry, Harry. The Mel on Sunday didn't do a thing wrong. You did. Give proper detail in full and stop trying to edit everything just to benefit you. They say he's so upset. He's a complete hypocrite, just as bad as Megan. In fact, they all are. And all because this did not work out to his benefit, Harry is now making a vow. He is absolutely going to go hardcore on the sun. So several years ago, his phone had been hacked, and he is now saying he will not lose this legal battle. Because again, you guys, he's got to flip that card out and play it. The paparazzi killed my mother, and I mean to get back at them. Harry, quit while you're ahead. You're embarrassing yourself. I'm so tired of these people blaming everybody else. Have you guys noticed they don't take responsibility for anything that they're attached to? Nothing they're involved in. They take zero responsibility. They play the victim. In the ABC special, they were the victim. The world is their villain. All of this is a mind game with them. They overuse the word bully because that's the hot word right now. When in fact, they are the bullies and the liars. Just as she set up that entire Sky News photo shoot with that thing dangling on her chest, which I want to tell you guys something really fast. And I thank you for sharing it with me, Georgina. On their websites, on their Instagrams, on their social media, they urge people to contact them. Write in if you have questions, concerns, or comments. So Georgina took it upon herself to write Harry. Sounds innocent enough. However, she mentioned the Sky News setup by Megan. And instead of saying, you know, dear Georgina, blah, 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 they returned a fail to delivery to Georgina. And I have a feeling it's their bot system picking up certain words automatically rejecting these emails from folks they're urging to write in. And that's so super disrespectful. They sit there and say they're humanitarians. I don't think so. The word they're looking for is monetarians. So getting back to the lawsuit, I want to tell you something really fast. I wonder why Oprah and Megan aren't bosom buddies anymore. Harry and Megan started the lawsuit against the Mail on Sunday while they were in South Africa. Now, as it was told to me, Oprah was one of the very first to reach out to Megan and say, why don't you guys try to work it out a different way 
versus go the legal route. I couldn't figure out why did it matter to Oprah. And then I found this out. Daily Mail is a sister company to Mail on Sunday. And here in the States, we have a thing called Daily Mail TV. And that's the partner to Daily Mail UK. Now, the producer of Daily Mail TV happens to be Dr. Phil and his son. Guess whose money's tied into that? Not only Dr. Phil's, of course, but Oprah's. So she stands quite a bit of money to lose in the event this lawsuit goes into a bad direction. I wondered why Megan said no. She was not doing the sit down with Oprah first and wanted to go with Ellen to have the first televised interview since breaking away from the royal family. So now we know. Harry and Meghan, y'all don't go around messing with people's money. What next, y'all? I'll see you soon and we'll talk fast. Y'all stay safe and be blessed.